Exactly. There are going to be no big solutions today, but what there might be is a shift in the mood music and perhaps some side agreements that may well move things when it comes to the real decision making, which goes on, of course, in Brussels. Yeah. So ultimately, this meeting today, where the prime minister will, for the first time, properly sit down with the Irish Taoiseach. They did meet briefly uh, in Sharm el Sheikh at the start mm. of the week, but not to do any serious policy discussions. It's interesting. There's a sort of parallel that could perhaps be drawn um, between another sort of seaside northwest town in England, where back in 2019, the then Taoiseach, uh, Leo Varadkar, met with Boris Johnson, new as Prime Minister, where they thrashed out a deal over how to change Theresa May's original EU exit agreement. Now, that then moved everything. And, and a couple of weeks after that, the EU then presented this change, this reformed deal that was right. acceptable to Parliament and let the United Kingdom leave the EU. Sometimes these side agreements, these meetings, these non-formal bits of negotiation can be the key to unlock something bigger. Right. So no, not expecting any big grand announcement today. However, it could be a very, very important cog in the whole process. Yeah. And meanwhile, Stormont still at a standstill and, and both sides, the, the DUP and Sinn Féin indicating, well, even if we go back to the ballot box in January, it's unlikely mm. to change the situation any. There are meant to be nine heads of government at the British-Irish Council meeting. It's really a council of the British Isles, so it's not yeah. just uh, Ireland and the United Kingdom, but also the two heads of government of Northern Ireland, the First Minister of Scotland, the First Minister of Wales, the heads of Jersey, Guernsey and the Isle of Man as well. However, it's not nine meeting today. It's only seven, because the two people who are supposed to represent the executive of Northern Ireland are not in post. There is no First Minister or Deputy First Minister of Northern Ireland and as things yeah, stand. Yeah. And that is a very obvious absence in the meeting. Uh, and that is ultimately what the whole of the focus of the conversation will be on. But as the DUP have repeatedly said, the second largest party in, in Stormont now, mm. uh, they have repeatedly said they will not join an executive until the protocol, protocol is sorted indeed. out. Yeah. And that's ultimately what it gets down to. Yeah.